Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here. Hope you're well. And uh, welcome back to the channel for a beautiful ride out on a lovely summer's evening. This is what motorcycling is all about to me. Fantastic British motorcycle I'm on and a beautiful bit of British countryside. Anyway, stick around and stay tuned. I want to give you my final thoughts on the Norton Commando. So welcome back uh, to the Missenden Flyer and uh, you may have seen a week or two back I did a first ride review of this bike the Norton 961 Commando very lucky to be riding it not too many people have had the chance and as a fan of retro bikes and in particular British bikes absolutely chuffed to get the chance to ride this but uh, if you've not seen that review, probably best to go and watch that first. I'll stick a link in the corner of the video so you can go and watch that. And in that I'll do all the usual things, talk about what it's like to ride and the spec and the cost and all that sort of thing. But basically, spoiler alert. Ah, road closed, here we go, the usual thing. Spoiler alert is, I didn't like the bike as much as I expected to. And uh, as a result, I've not ridden the bike again. And the bike is due to go back to Norton this week. I thought I just owed it to myself and to Norton to see if I've been a little bit hasty and to come out on the bike again and just have another little little go on the bike and see if she's grown on me at all. So that's what today's all about. It's a very simple video, sort of vloggy style, that sort of thing. Anyway, you join me in Chesham on an absolutely beautiful evening. It's about uh, 22 degrees, something like that, about half past seven. 8 o'clock, perfect time to be riding. I thought I would uh, head up towards a place called Cheney's, just a nice road from here in Cheshire, up to Cheney's, perfect sort of uh, road for a bike like this anyway. That's where I'm heading, do a bit of exploring up that way, don't ride up there very often, should do it more. Before I do that, I'm just going to move my camera slightly. This is one thing I don't like about this bike, is it's quite hard to find neutral. Or it takes, it's, I think it's easy enough to find neutral, it's just it takes a while for the neutral light to come on when you've found it. So you might think you haven't got it and then go at the first again. So it's a bit of that involved. Anyway, and then another thing is this side stand. It just feels flimsy. Number one, it's a bit further forward than you think. But it just feels a bit flimsy to me. Anyway, let's move this camera. Just wanted to put you over the side a little bit. I hope you don't waggle around too much, but uh, I think it might be better than you looking at the camera all the time. All right. Okay. Clear behind. Let's go and find this decent road. One thing I do like about, well, there's a few things I definitely love about this bike. One is uh, the sound it makes is absolutely awesome. I'm not quite sure how it gets through the regulations because it sounds pretty loud to me. I've got uh, those foam earplugs in, you know, the ones that go in quite deep and they're quite dense and they're usually the most effective at blocking out sound and it still sounds loud to me. So, goodness knows what it sounds like to bystand, innocent bystanders. <laughs> Now I did, uh, I mentioned on the other video that these, I think are put through single vehicle approval and that might, that might explain how come it is so loud and can get through the regulations. They might be slightly different than a fully homologated mass produced bike, I'm not sure. Anyway, I do like the way they sound. And of course I love the way the bike looks, a classic looking British motorcycle. I have to say what I don't like, these cars in front of me, I do hope they're not going to be in front of me this whole road because we do need to, uh, need a little bit of space up this one. Uh, the micro is turning off, there's hope. Is that other car going? Yes, he's turning off, excellent. We've just got this Honda to deal with. I might have a chance to dispatch him in a moment. What a lovely evening, eh? Oh, he's turning off as well. Oh, everything is getting better about this evening, brilliant. Got a free run at it. All right, from now on, this road gets quite nice. 
today and actually as I, as I wind the revs up I'm reminded very much of the uh, the vibrations this bike produces you're not going to forget that you're on a motorcycle on this I tell you there's a lot of vibes through the seat in particular which actually at certain RPMs is quite pleasant <laughs> but also a little bit through the handlebar grips not too much and a little bit through the foot pegs again not too much it's mostly through the seat oh this is one of those good to be alive evenings there aren't too many things I can think of that I'd rather be doing on a glorious summer's evening than riding through British countryside on a British motorcycle absolutely fantastic one of the things I might rather be doing is flying a Spitfire over the British countryside but that's uh, let's be realistic <laughs> that's very unlikely to be happening anyway right I'm nearly out of the way of the uh, Oh, up area and onto the road that I wanted this is it okay here we go it's not a particularly fast road or anything like that it's just a nice country ride which I think will suit the Norton down to the ground so I guess one of my biggest gripes about this bike is that I mean there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it it's, it's a perfectly good bike but it's not a cheap bike by any means because of course it is built in small quantities it's around about 16 grand when you compare that to the competition from Triumph for people like that that makes it quite an expensive bike and on the spec sheet this doesn't really stack up against the higher spec trumps in terms of power in terms of speed in terms of comfort and refinement or indeed facilities there's absolutely no electronics on this now again I'm not a big fan of electronics actually uh, it's got ABS because of course it has to it doesn't have traction control but then it's not that powerful a bike so that's I'm not even gonna miss that it doesn't have riding modes I don't miss them so actually the lack of electronics isn't a big deal other than it makes you think is it worth the money you know road surface up here is a little bit tricky so I'm just keeping an eye out for potholes it's absolutely lovely through here I hope you can get a bit of a view across there of that field and those meadows in the sunshine you never believe you're just a stone's throw from London well a pretty good stone's throw to be fair probably about 28 miles from central London but it's not far the bike itself for me isn't that comfortable either I'm finding myself I'm led quite a long way forward it's not uncomfortable by any means but there's a little bit of weight on my wrist that I wouldn't have expected on a bike of this type yeah it's got some lovely parts the brakes on these are high spec Brembo's the suspension is Olin's so the ride itself actually the handling it is very nice it has to be said but the engine's not particularly powerful so I'm not sure you really need those sort of specs on a, on a bike of this type other than for bragging rights how gorgeous does it look through here tonight look at this place, lovely and actually I, I have found the bike a little bit difficult to live with in the short period that I've had it I've had it for a couple of weeks but uh, the turning circle on it is, is like a jumbo jet it's uh, getting it in and out of the garage is a real pain I like do about a 15 point turn to manoeuvre it out of my driveway today so it's not the easiest bike to live with it's not particularly heavy and it feels light enough when you're riding it so that's nice so there's pros and cons with it really if you're wedded to the idea of having a Norton and I do love the idea of the brand I must say and you've got plenty of money spare and you could afford it then go for it now there's a left turn just here that I've never been down in my life let's go exploring it says London and Latimer let's go and have a look and see what uh, Latimer bottom that sounds good <laughs> I've heard of Latimer because of the train station around here I think uh, that is a tube train station called shelf on Latimer who would have thought that London's underground network comes out to places like this but it does in a sort of quirk of design oh here we go this looks nice oh very nice there's a little green look oh nice let's do a little lap shall we yes yeah, a bit of a classic English vibe nice classic English vibe for a classic English bike so this is Latimer nice I oh, even got a red phone box still. Brilliant. If 
few looks from that car, maybe they thought I was a nutter, or they were bike enthusiasts. And we're pleased to see a Norton on the road, I like to think Latter. Okay, so that's Latimer done. Very nice too. Does it warrant a tube station? You decide. <laughs> When I say a tube station, it is uh, shared with Chalfont and it is on the mainline rail network as well. So, And it doesn't actually go underground at this point, it's all over ground. So don't get too excited. A little bit of gravel here, look. Nasty. Right, a little bit more of this road to do that I like. Hello, fly on the visor. <laughs> go on. So in hindsight, have I been a bit hasty in my negative judgment about the Norton? Well, I don't know. There is something nice about it. It has got character and I do love the idea of Norton and it looks amazing and all that. Get that. But it doesn't get around the fact that on the spec sheet it doesn't stack up with other bikes but costs a lot less. So I think I have to stick with my original conclusion. couldn't really recommend it unless you're dead set as I say on the brand but we're gonna go for one I definitely have the black and gold one so I'm not sure I've got anything else to add I just thought it deserved a second chance don't they all doesn't everybody deserve a second chance I would love to try the Norton V4 whether I get the chance to ever do that I don't know but those are in a different league again I think but I must say uh, thank you to Norton for letting me borrow the bike it's a bit of a nasty little corner it has been a real uh, pleasure and a, almost an honour I'd say to actually get to ride a Norton so I hope you've enjoyed these couple of videos and look forward to speaking to you again soon until then this has been the Mr. and Flyer cheerio thumbnail here maybe yeah thumbnail outside of pub always works so there's a lot of people in there wondering what the hell I'm doing let's be quick please don't fall over on that stand stay get killed as I go for me thumbnail oh looks good doesn't it <laughs>